In this problem we have a region bounded by these graphs and we have to rotate it uh, about the line x equals 6 and then we have to find the volume of the resulting solid. We're going to use something called the shell method. Let's go ahead and start by graphing our region. So this will be our y-axis and this is the x-axis. And so the square root of x, if you just graph it by itself, it looks something like this. So it will stop at 1 because x equals 1. So it'll look something like this. And then this is the line x equals 1. It's a vertical line. And then y equals 0 is just the horizontal line that lies on the x-axis. So this is 1. And we're spinning this about the line x equals 6, which is also a vertical line right here. So whenever we use the shell method, our rectangles are always parallel to the axis of revolution, which in this case is x equals 6. So that means we have a nice vertical rectangle, which makes things easier. Whenever you have vertical rectangles, you have functions of x. So let's go ahead and identify the two main things in the shell method. The first is h. h is the height of the rectangle, or the length of the long part. So this would be your h of x. It's really important to always label things. p of x is the distance from the skinny part of the rectangle to the axis of revolution. So this would be p of x. Okay, we're good to go. Now we can identify what h and p are. So h of x, in this case, it's pretty simple. It's just the square root of x because this function here is the square root of x. This distance here, I should label this, this is 6. So this distance here is 6. This distance here is x. S whoops, x. <laughs> so p of x is the big distance minus this distance. So p of x is going to be 6 minus x, right? It's this distance here, and then take away this, and you're left with p. All right, so the volume, it's shell, so we have the 2 pi, so it's 2 pi. We're integrating with respect to x, so we'll go left to right, so 0 to 1, and it's p times h, so 6 minus x times the square root of x, dx, so ph. To integrate this, we might first start off by rewriting the square root function in a more convenient way. So let's do that by writing it as x to the one-half power. So that would be, uh, I think, a really good step. So x to the one-half dx. And we did this because we really want to distribute here. So this is 2 pi times the definite integral from 0 to 1. This will be 6x to the one-half minus and then x to the 1 times x to the 1 half is x to the 3 halves. So minus x to the 3 halves. And then we have our dx. All right, good stuff. Let's keep going. So the volume is equal to 2 pi. So when we integrate this, we use the power rule. So it'll be 6x to the 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. But when we divide by 3 halves, we really multiply by 2 thirds. Minus, same thing here, 1 half plus 1 is 5 halves. So when we divide by 5 halves, we really multiply by 2 fifths. And we're going from 0 to 1. Good stuff. This is really bothering me here, this, uh, this 3 and this 6. So 3 goes into 6 twice. That's going to give us 4. Let me go ahead and rewrite that. So 2 pi, 4x to the 3 halves, minus 2 fifths, x to the 5 halves, and we're going from 0 to 1. All right, so we have 2 pi. First, we plug in the 1, so that'll give us bracket. Oh, well, 1 to any power is 1, so this is just 4 minus 2 fifths. Right, because 1 to the 3 halves is 1, and 1 to the 5 halves is also 1. Then minus, and then when you plug in 0, everything goes away because they're all zeros. 
to subtract these without a calculator, you want to think of 4 as a number over 5. If you can't do that, you can multiply it by 5 over 5. That gives you 20 over 5 minus 2 over 5. So that's 2 pi. So 20 over 5 minus 2 over 5 is 18 over 5. 2 times 8 is 36, so you get 36 pi over 5, and that would be the volume. I hope this video has been helpful.